Today is the 13th of December 2017 at Wapayo Vets. This is a one-year-old female domestic short hair cat. If you look at her abdomen, there is a skin incision. 4.5 centimeters in length. There are also six stitches. If you look at the right forelimb, there is a clipped hairless area. Why did she have these procedures done? Keep watching to find out why. This is the Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topio Vets. My name is Daniel Lo and I'm an intern at Topio Vets. The title of this video is Veterinary Judgment When Should a Vet Spay a Patient with Pyometra? An email was sent to Topio Vets by the cat's owner on the 1st of December 2017. Hi doctor, I discovered my one-year-old female Garfield has a white discharge from her vaginal area. It is thick, yet not runny or dripping. Kindly advise what's the follow-up to be done or if we could change her food, etc. Attach is the picture for your perusal. Thanks with regards, the owner. The cat was diagnosed with an open pyometra. Pyometra is an infection of the uterus caused by bacteria. In open pyometra, the cervix is open, hence there is a yellow pussy vaginal discharge. On day one, when the vet did an abdominal palpation, the uterine horns were swollen at around 2 cm in diameter. There was anorexia and pus in the vagina. Pyometra can be seen from the yellow pus inside the left and the right uterine horns. The surgery to treat this is called a spay. The cat's uter uterus was removed on day 5. She is active and there's no more fever. Her appetite now is good. The reason that she was spayed on day 5 was because that there is a risk of anesthetic death if the patient has a fever because the patient is weak. From this graph you can see that her temperature decreased over the time she was in hospital. A fever is a temperature above 39.5 degrees Celsius. Before the surgery she had a fever above 39.5. Surgery was performed on day 5 and although the temperature went up slightly the day after surgery she no longer had a fever the following days. In conclusion, the vet must exercise his judgement in when is the best time to perform the surgery because a patient dying on the, on the operating table is not good for the vet's reputation. Delaying a surgery decreases the anaesthetic risk if you can bring the fever down and this maximises the chance that the patient will survive the surgery.